Hello everybody. I have this rolling suitcase. This is one of the suitcases with just two wheels, not four. Two wheels that you pull. It's an American Tourister. It's a very large suitcase and the problem with large suitcases is that you're over the 50 pound weight limit pretty quickly. Uh, so that's sort of the negative on these suitcases, but I'm really fortunate. I'm a lifetime platinum on American. So on First class flights where I've been upgraded, I'm allowed to bring two 75 pound suitcases for free, and that's exactly what I did on this last trip. I loaded this sucker up to 74 pounds, and consequently, the wheels on the suitcase were totally destroyed. This is sort of what the wheel is supposed to look like, and you can see that the covering is completely missing on this one. And then also you'll notice there's a lot of play in the wheel. That's because the wheels on both sides have been totally destroyed. And let me show you how I intend to fix this. First of all, I've already removed this assembly. And you can see the ribbing on this wheel right here. The ribbings, this sort of spokes, they have completely failed. So as a result of that, you can see the wheel doesn't ride squarely in there. But there's a rib there. There's one there. That one's broken. That one's complete, completely missing. That's broken. So it consequently gives you a lot of slop in there. Same with this one. You can see that this wheel, the wheel should not do this. And that's because, again, the ribbing or the spoke on the inside is broken. So how am I going to fix that? In order to replace this wheel, you have to get this assembly completely off of your suitcase. So the way to do that is look very, very carefully. And all the suitcases have a sort of a liner inside it. But if you look carefully, you will find a zipper that you can open this lining. And so once you get the lining out of the way, you are able to see these rivets. On this side, you can see there's a rivet there. There's another one right there. There's also two more. There's one on the back side and one on this side. So the way you do that is you take a fairly large size drill bit. In my case, this is about a three seven inch diameter drill bit. What you're trying to do is machine the flattened portion of the rivet off. So by using a drill, this, this side of the rivet, which is normally mushroomed around a washer here, by drilling that with an oversized drill, you're able to take away that material and eventually you'll get that washer to pop off. Once that washer pops off, you can push the rivet back in backwards from the way it came in. And then you'll either have to get new rivets and they're pretty heavy duty or you can generally get small enough screws with very low profile heads and low profile nuts and you just use nuts screws to replace the rivets that are used to hold the wheel assembly. Additionally, I'll have to remove the axle that holds this wheel on and it's the same thing. There's the head of that rivet and so I'll just take probably I'm going to use a uh, something a little larger than a quarter inch maybe a five sixteenths drill and that'll remove that head that head will pop right off and then I'll be able to push the rivet back through and I'm going to use skateboard or roller blade wheels you can see the spokes look at the number of spokes that are in there this is twice the number of spokes that was maybe three times, but at least two times the number of spokes that were in the wheels that came on the suitcase. So I'm pretty sure that these wheels are going to hold up much better. This suitcase is almost 20 years old already, so we've gotten more than enough use out of it. But if I can get a little more life out of it by replacing the wheels, uh, that's just going to be great. Here's a good view of the damaged wheel. You can see the covering here on the left is missing on the right. And then these are the bearings. 
You can see the spokes are damaged. One, two, three, four. There's only six spokes to support that bearing. And you can see all the, how badly damaged this side is as well. Well, I am a happy camper. I was able to get the skateboard wheels mounted. They're going to be great. I got my new wheels on, and it works perfectly. Couldn't be happier with it. Just ended up using screws and nuts instead of rivets to put these plastic pieces back on. Those are my old wheels on the left here. You can see that they're pretty well destroyed. The hubs are destroyed. Those are the bearings that fell out of them. That's my roller blade wheel. Turned out to be the exact same size. And let's call it the axle for lack of a better word. It was a perfect fit to the existing holes. So that's my tip for you today. You got to make sure you find that zipper. That will give you access to being able to see what's underneath. Use a, a, dr a large drill bit, probably larger than you think you need, to remove the heads of those rivets. And then uh, disassemble them, replace the wheel, and then use either nuts and screws or uh, new rivets that you can probably find at your local hardware store and reattach the wheel assembly to your suitcase. So if you found the video, so if you found this video interesting or helpful, please give me a like, thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.